Okay, dads, Mohammed here, rights of fathers. Wanted to talk to you guys about what to do during or if you get the 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 good or how you know, I guess if it's bad news to you of divorce or breakup with children or a child. Okay? I only care about fathers that you know actually have kids. I don't care about like, you know, you breaking up and you're you don't have kids because that that don't mean nothing to me it's only i only care about fathers because i believe that children need fathers in their life and i can see how this corrupt world is uh, designed to prevent to basically eliminate fathers from children's picture because they want to raise that the system wants to be the one raising the children they they want to use they want they only want the mother you know so the child doesn't die and we all know what the mother is going to do. You know, she's just going to put them in front of a TV, medicate them, feed them garbage, have a bunch of dudes um, in, at the crib. She's getting ran through. And um, the kids are out here just traumatized. And, and they grow up, you know, messed up. And by the time they figure it out, they're too old. So... I'm, you know, I'm just trying to make a little dent in this universe, even if it's like a minor dent, one father, I've, I've won. So, yeah, um, okay, so you, you're getting the bad news, I guess. I call it good news, but hey, if you think it's bad, then I guess it's bad. But you're getting the divorce, or you're getting, you're, you're breaking up. It's, it's like, for real, it's happening. What would you do? Okay. First thing I'll say is calm down don't, don't freak out okay it's not the end of the world it's not the worst thing on earth it, it just calm down first right because because when you're stressed out and freaking out and panicking you're not going to make the right decisions you're just going to you're going to do things in desperation and it's not going to end well for you just know that the whole system and the whole world is completely going to be against you. The whole system is designed to be against you. They're going to probably do everything in their power to either remove you from the child's life or they're going to make it so hard for you to be part of their lives. No wonder you hear about, oh, absentee dads. And, you know, I always wonder, like, who in the world would, would leave their kid, you know, like, I, I hear, like, all kinds of stories when I was in school, you know. And I was like, wow, how, how would that ever happen? I mean, sure enough, it happened to me. <laughs> and that's the reason why I dedicated this channel is to help fathers to either regain their, their children back or to regain their sanity back. Okay? So the first thing I want you to know is it's not going to be fair. Women, they're, they're designed to, like, handle this kind of situation better than you. They're basically designed to, like, move from house to house to house to house. They don't care. They are literally going to forget about you, and they're, they're going to totally just, you know, dedicate their whole life to their next victim. Like, they, they're not going to care. You're going to care way more than they are. You're, they're not, you're going to have way more compassion, and largely it's because... If you have kids, it's, that's like what's really gonna hurt, you know. If you didn't, if you don't have kids, it wouldn't matter as much. Like I wouldn't even be making this video, you know. But the problem is, you have kids that you're basically stuck with this, this lady or whatever, until you know, basically forever, you know. Unfortunately, so that's why people like me have to make videos to to help you guys navigate better, you know. Um, Try not to make the same mistakes that we've made, right? So the first thing is to not panic. And the first thing, you, you got to understand female nature. You got to understand, like, we don't think the same. You know, we're apples, they're oranges. We're not the same. I don't care, like, what feminists say and all this Hollywood bullshit. We're not the same. We're, our brains are wired completely differently. They see the world differently than we do. They're, we're motivated by different things, right? They're more, they're thinking more, like in a communal kind of way. Like they're thinking, their instinct is centered around like, you know, evolutionary things that 
happened, you know, thousands of years ago. So, you know, we all know that times has was different, you know, for for every century things have evolved, whether for good or bad, right? But our DNA has evolved based on our experiences and, and, and that determines, you know, how we see the world, whether good or bad. So um fathers need to understand that we're we're not the same. So the way that you're gonna experience it, it's not gonna be the same way. First of all, the whole world's gonna cater to them. You know, they have like government assistance, all this males just trying to give them free money and all this shit. And for you, it's it's not gonna be the same, right? Um, maybe if you got good friends, family, they might understand some empathy, but it's really not much. Like for a man, like, you know, seriously, nobody can really help a man, right? You got to help yourself. So you don't complain. You just, you know, you just, you deal with it, right? That's what being a man is about. So the first thing is don't freak out. It's not that in the world. She want to go you know, do her thing, who gives a fuck, let her do it, right, so, what would I do, the very first thing I'm going to do, when I know for sure this is happening, before a court document is filed, you want to make sure that you have an agreement in writing, and you want to get her, you want to have an agreement that you both agree on, right, Maybe it's 50-50, whatever. Whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you feel is in your best interest or in all your... I'll say forget everybody in your best interest and your children's best interest, whatever that is, you want to put that into writing. I mean everything. When it, I'm talking about when it comes to like school, when it comes to food, when it comes to religious stuff when it comes to clothing, when it comes to diet, when it comes to exercise, when it comes to expectations, like, you know, don't be having my kids while you're getting ran through by a bunch of dudes. Like, you gotta put all that into writing and then you gotta have her agree to it and you both gotta sign it. And then, um, then you're gonna go and notarize it. And then you just, and that's all you need, to, really, that's all you need to do. But, um, it doesn't matter, you know, whether you're married or not, you still have to do that. Because if you don't, you're going to leave your fate into the government's hand. And I'm telling you, it's not going to go the way that you want. Maybe in some like 0.01% chance it happens, but why leave it to chance, right? Your kids are, they deserve more, you know? You don't want to leave it in anybody's hands. You got you to gotta have total control, otherwise... They're never going to do anything that is going to help you. They're only going to do things that's going to destroy you or it's going to help the mother and the system, right? So that's the most important thing. Before any court documents get filed, you have to do that, okay? Now, um, if a court document is already filed, make sure you do that before you go to court. All right, because because I mean, once once a court document is filed and you go to court, it's over for you, you know. And and you're talking about oh, I'm gonna hire an attorney and all this shit. They're gonna they're just gonna they're gonna drain you, man. You're not gonna get what you want. You're just gonna end up selling for what they want. You may not realize it right away, but eventually you're gonna realize that, damn. Even though I, I paid all this money, I still ended up losing in the end. <laughs> so I'm telling you, you don't want to go the attorney route. Um, I would say the only time you want to use an attorney is before a divorce uh, or any kind of court filing takes place. Like um, when you, I believe when you're not married, it's called like a paternity action. So um, you don't. You, um, and the stats say that 80 percent. It's initiated by the women. So if you have a child with somebody and you guys go your separate ways, 80% of the chance she's going to go file some kind of paperwork, either some kind of like paternity action against you or some sort of like child support action against you. And if you walk in there with, with without any kind of private agreement with her, you're going to get slaughtered. Okay. 
So this is like the major thing that I've seen that um, fathers are, are facing, the, one of the major problems. Um, they're getting slaughtered because they don't have any private agreement in place and they're expecting the court to be the one to decide your future. I was, I'm gonna repeat that one one more time. You're allowing the courts to decide your future. Not a good move, my my guy. You don't want that to happen. So, you know, I wish you know somebody would have told me all this. I wish you know there's a video like this that I would have learned from, but. Uh, Unfortunately, you know, that's the reason why I'm making this video, so to help change the world, you know, because when I was, when I was going through it, there is nothing out there that will tell you anything like this. Even right now, if you go online, nobody's going to tell you that, like, to make a private agreement. All they're going to do is get a lawyer, get a, get a good lawyer. That's all they're going to keep saying. Anybody that you ask, oh, I know a good lawyer, you know <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to learn the hardware what the lawyers are going to do to you, man. <laughs> they're going to raid your estate, man. That's what they're going to do, man. I'm telling you, you don't want to learn the hard way, man. Just just trust me on this. You want to just get a private agreement. Even if you are going to get a lawyer, get the lawyer to only help you draft the, the agreement, the private agreement, and to serve as your witness in terms of the agreement. But not for like representing you in an actual paternity action or like a dis dissolution of marriage action. You I'm telling you, man, you're better off on your own. Even if you don't know what the hell you're doing, it's, you're still better because you can recover. But if you if you get a lawyer and they put an agreement in place, sure, you're bound to that agreement, and it's hard to backtrack from that, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Even if you do know what you're doing, man, you know how hard it is. Like, like anything to do with like child custody, man, child paternity, dissolution of marriage. It's like the hardest, the the worst branch of the like. It's the worst type of you know legal action that you can deal with. It's even worse than criminal. Some people say you know criminal is bad. Like you don't know how corrupt they are until the system is to to you get a criminal charge and. You know, depending on how much you know about the law, like, you're, you know, you're going to realize, like, it's corrupt, you know. But I'm telling you, even even the criminal aspect has nothing when it comes to child custody. Because, man, these people, they're robbed. They, they fucking, they, I don't know if it's true about, like, them stealing kids, but I don't know, man. It kind of looks like it because the way that, they're just stealing people's kids in court every single day. And the world is still spinning. It makes me kind of question things like, you know, I, I honestly didn't know how corrupt this world is until, you know, I dealt with this this family court issue. Like, it's messed up, man. Like, I'm surprised the world is still spinning with this kind of injustice, man. Like... And you wonder why they would go to that extent just to destroy a child's life. Like, you're doing all this just to just to put a child at a disadvantage. Like, just think about it. Like, how like who would love a child more than their parent, right? And then for you to remove a, a parent, a father, the the most the greatest ally a son could have, just so you can you can. Um, running through the system it just makes you question things like ooh is it the money i don't know it might be beyond the money they are getting a lot of money you know because they got the, the kid's social security number his birth certificate but um i think it's beyond the money there's there's some greater stuff that's happening here so um anyway guys um I really hope this helps you. If I didn't answer your question correctly, you can comment. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this content so other fathers can learn from this. Um, until next time, my friends. Later.